I got the tie again. I won't lie to you, mate. I have been procrastinating. I'll be honest. I really have. You know why? Because I've chopped this big tire, this big, thick, sturdy tire into little bits. Like ton thousands of little bits. And and guess what? That's kind of dangerous, mate, because this thing got some spring to it. You know, like, it's it's got some spring. It's, it's, it's not easy. And, and it's dangerous, mate. Like, you, I could easily cut my nuts off with this, all right? Easily. Got a, got a sawzall or something going to it. It bounces off. Cuts me right in the nuts. Cut my nuts off. And I ain't doing that, man. I ain't gonna get my nuts cut off, right? Or I'm young. I still got like at least 30 more years, right? I'm not about to go 30 years of my life nutless because I'm trying to cut a freaking tire with an angle grinder, all right? But with that being said, I'm gonna give it a go anyway. And if it makes, if, if it tries to slip up or anything for, for one second, mate, one second, I'm not, I'm not, I'm done. I'm done, honestly. I'm done. I'll do something different. I'll figure out some type of different way. But, you know, it's a lot of stuff to cut. And uh, I know it's soft, but still, you know, it, I'm not going to cut my nuts off. It's that simple. So, um, yeah, we're going to do this. Let's see how it goes. Well, I mean, that did work. See, it cut it, but this is going to be nasty as hell. Look at all the damn smoke. I don't know if you can see the smoke, but there's smoke everywhere from that. Smells like damn burnt tires. That, that is what it is. You're using friction to cut it. This uh, this ain't the way, man. I mean, we got to use some type of... We, we can't use a cutting wheel. We need to use a, um, a little jigsaw or something. Let me see what my jigsaw would do, right? Let me hook up my jigsaw to this. That's reasonable. I mean, it's a little chunk, like <laughs> one chunk out of a huge pie, but it's safe. Will take years. It'll work. So since a, a jigsaw works, I think a sawzall can work even better. I have a sawzall. Just gotta go get it. I will say that's something. This material is so soft. It's just you know annoying to cut. There's steel in there. It's like you know, I, my camera won't zoom, but like there's a little white. I don't know what that is. Little white like cores in here or something. something. See them, the little white cores, whatever. So yeah, we're gonna. I guess I just use a sawzall to cut this up, you know. I mean, if I can just cut up a little slivers like this, like hundreds of little slivers like this, that really would do would do the job, you know. Honestly, it'll do the job. So yeah. Well, I've underestimated how long it'll take to cut a thousand little slivers of a rubber tire, but basically it's gonna take a little bit longer than I thought. So the video on really pyrolysized rubber tires is going to come out a bit later. But in the meantime, I got some other stuff in this video. I also want to let you guys know, I did create a TikTok. Um, just because I'm trying to, you know, share this information to as many people as I can. Reach as many people as possible. I really am not really down with the social media, but it's whatever. So you can follow me there. Link in the description as usual. Anyways, we'll get on with the video. This right here is pyrolysis oil, right? Pure pyrolysis oil collected over the course of three or four days now if you see this you're probably thinking what i was thinking i'm like why am i getting so much oil all of a sudden because you know with the microwaves i don't get that much oil at all it, it takes me like a month of running the thing to get this much oil well actually you remember in my last episode when i did co-pyrolysis of plastic and motor oil i reckon that since co-pyrolysis of motor oil does work this is what i get high oil yields from the motor oil which was my theory and you know what's interesting right first of all this stuff is a lot less viscous than the motor oil right um actually let me go get the motor oil to show you and compare. Right, so on the blue top we have the motor oil over here we have just pyrolysis oil and i was saying 
there, uh, the pyrolysis oil is less viscous. So let me show you. So I have this little wood stick here. Stir it around. I guess this really is not a really scientific test of viscosity, but you can see it's it's pretty it's pretty light viscosity, you know, nothing crazy. Over here, motor oil, a lot more viscous, and you can just kind of tell, like look at that, look at the way it's like dripping off of there like that, you know, like syrup almost, right? Well, this is closer to like to like water. Like you see, I do that. It really it's like dripping, it's not like making a giant stream. So you 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 get the point, right? <laughs> yeah, get the point. Let me not try to argue prove this anymore any longer um but something else so interesting right this motor oil let me show you let's try to light this motor oil and see like if it'll catch a flame right no not at all it does not catch a flame but this pyrolysis motor oil does it catch a flame oh did you see that wait a minute uh, let me do oh wow look whoa look at that Wait a minute. Oh, that's crazy, dude. It's flammable. Oh, let me let me put it out before it melts the container. Oh, shit. Okay, there we go. <laughs> but yeah, this pyrolysis oil does indeed hold a flame. And it's calorific. And I reckon if this was just cleaned a little bit more to get any of the heavy waxes and stuff out, this could be put right in a diesel engine. You could mix this with diesel fuel right away. I reckon right and you can see the difference it's less viscous and i'm going to do another test to show you that right now look I'm do another test right now so you can see the viscosity i'm going to pour this into here right oh goodness okay yeah i pour oh damn it i spilled it everywhere god damn it i have to get that up with the towel but anyway i pour it into here and i'm going to pour this back into here and you'll be able to see it better see the viscosity see that it's like it's like, it's it's pretty thin, you know, I'm not saying it's like gasoline or nothing, but it's, it's not bad. So now let's do the same with this motor oil, right? Let me pour it into this small container and we're going to pour it back into there so we can really see. So you see when I pour it into here, I don't know if you'll be able to get the best shot, but oh yeah, that stuff is nice and chunky, nice and thick, you know. And look, when I pour it back in, look at that. It's like crude, you know what I'm saying? Like that stuff is really, really chunky and thick. And I ain't saying that's a bad thing. I'm just saying that's how it is. So with that being said, we can see there is a difference. And I'm not just playing with you. I'm not over here acting like this is the used motor oil when I really did get all this pyrolysis oil over here. So um, that was the result of the co-pyrolysis of the, the oil. Because it took me... Um, like I said, over three or four days to finally get all the oil completely pyrolysized out of the reactor. Because I guess I just put so much in there, <laughs> you know, it kind of was messing stuff up. But the point is, we get oil, usable oil, calorific, um, and I reckon, you know, it doesn't even need that much cleaning. It may not even need to be distilled before it can go in the engine. But of course, if, if I distill it, I can get fractions out of it possibly gasoline possibly diesel so i do want to try that i just don't i don't have a distiller right now <laughs> I, mean, I guess i do have one of the most advanced distillers you can get a pyrolysis reactor but you know um i need to build an actual small scale distillery but you know I, that's really promising to see because yeah we can get high oil yields off of this in fact let me show you this oil on the floor we'll just like go ahead and light this it's already on the floor anyway right i guess it doesn't want to light but anyway you get the point I thought that was pretty cool, so I just wanted to show you guys that. Thank you for watching. Um, yeah, and take care.